Hey guys, Bridge here. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the top Figma plugins that are out there. Now, these are plugins which uh, I'm currently using quite extensively. And uh, by the way, I just want to remind you that I recently launched a course on how to get started in UI UX design. I'm basically sharing my over 10 years of experience in this field. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in that. And uh, now let's go back on Figma. And uh, the very first thing that we're gonna do is I'm going to show you the this plugin right here. So in order to access the plugins, it's actually very easy. Simply go on the top left and under plugins, you're going to see this option, which is browse plugins in community. You can simply search for the name. So for example, Styler and go under here under the plugins and you can simply click on install. Now, that being said, let's go back and once you install the plugin you're going to have them right over here the very first plugin which i want to show you is content reel since uh, it's a plugin which uh, is really really useful and can save you tons of time so for example the way that you can use content reel is by creating uh, a few different uh, elements and then you can uh, select all of them and uh, click on avatar for example and uh, as you can see you're going to have all the, the elements populated by different uh, avatars. And the same is true for text. So for example, let's say that I have uh, an element which is, uh, um, which is a card and uh, I need uh, several of uh, these items uh, to essentially be populated with uh, different names, but I don't want to like stand there and uh, like think about random names. I can simply select uh, all of these, uh, click on full name and boom, you're going to have uh, randomly generated names uh, in uh, no time. Now, the cool thing uh, about this uh, is that the same is true also for other elements uh, such as dates and uh, you know phone numbers, currencies. So you, you kind of get the, the idea by this point. So essentially content reel, what it does, it allows you to create uh, and uh, select a different uh, type of uh, uh, random data and generate random data in a very fast and efficient way. And as you can see, you're going to have these top menus so you can browse through different, uh, uh, different options. So for example, logos even, and uh, all sorts of different things, uh, you know, <laughs> Airbnbs. Uh, it's, uh, it's just amazing. You can literally save so much time with this plugin alone which, uh, yeah, I can't really recommend it enough. So that's that when it comes to content reel. And uh, now let's move on to the very next plugin, which uh, is uh, somewhat similar, but uh, it's uh, actually specific for photos. And uh, that is uh, the Unsplash plugin. Now, Unsplash is one of my favorite resources in order to find uh, royalty-free photos uh, on the web which uh, are still really high quality. So for example, I can search for minimal right here. And uh, this is going to essentially um, get the images directly <clears throat> from the Unsplash uh, site. So I can literally use a rectangle and uh, just after I select it, I can click on the image. And as you can see, it's going to be populated right away. So this is really useful. And uh, again, guys, this can save you so much time. You don't have to go on Unsplash uh, find an image, click on download, have it download locally, then upload it to Figma, size it, you know, all that. So it's literally just one click and you're pretty much sorted out. So really, really cool plugin, which I highly recommend you to check out. Now let's move on to the very next plugin, which is a plugin which I recently discovered. It's from our friends at LS Graphics. And uh, essentially, this is an amazing plugin for mockups. Uh, it's just the best one out there, in my personal opinion. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just super cool because you can find uh, all sorts uh, of different mockups. Uh, and I can select, for example, this one right here. And uh, I can choose uh, a screen uh, to use. Uh, so <laughs> I can simply click on the plus uh, and uh, use uh, one of uh, uh, the frames on the canvases. I don't really have one at the moment, but then essentially what you do is uh, then click on pasting canvas. So let's, let's do a, a really quick example over here. So let's create, uh, for example, a linear gradient with uh, 
uh, purple right here and then we're going to have some sort of of blue so let's go back uh, on uh, the plugin again mockup uh, do, 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 do. uploading here we go click on plus here's the frame crop it paste in canvas and you can select of course the dimensions so even like really big dimensions like 3000 pixels of 6000 pixels and so on and as you can see that one frame is now basically populated with uh, this uh, uh, with this really cool high quality graphic uh, and uh, I can change uh, you know the the image and uh, move things around so really really cool and uh, again guys you have like so many different mockups uh, which uh, is really uh, a really cool um, mockup generator in my personal opinion you can even select colors for di for different of these mockups so really really interesting and um, yeah that would be it for this one let's move on to the very next uh, um, plugin which I want to show you which is mesh gra gradients and mesh gradients is really interesting because it allows you to create uh, those really cool and trending gradients which uh, you might have seen on dribble or on uh, uh, new UIs uh, even on Instagram by the way I recently launched uh, an Insta a new Instagram page so I'm also going to leave it in the link in the description with daily UI UX advice just a <laughs> quick plugin of on there um, so yeah you can essentially change the different colors of this one and create all sorts of different gradients it's just a matter of like trying uh, different elements and you know you, you can literally create gradients of of all sorts with uh with this option and then you can generate them at uh, whatever size you want so click on just click on generate and boom we have this gradient which uh, we just created in a custom way but in a very also fast and, and, and easy way so definitely a great, uh, great uh, um, plugin for creating gradients. Now let's move on uh, to the very last one, which uh, is Styler. So essentially what Styler does uh, is uh, say that we want to create uh, um, different new styles for, uh, for this project. Maybe we have uh, uh, this one right here. Just change up the, uh, the color. We're going to have another one, which uh, is going to have like distance. So the way that Styler works uh, from a high level is, uh, as you can see, if we go under plugins and Styler, you have a few options, but the one which uh, I use all the time is the generate styles option. So essentially the moment I click generate styles, I'm going to have uh, these styles generated right here. And uh, as you can see, they're called rectangle one, rectangle two, simply because uh, Styler gets the name of the layer as uh, the, uh, the style name. So if, uh, for example, you start using uh, slashes, you can create nested styles. And uh, so essentially you can simply like rename uh, um, a, a whole bunch of layers with uh, nested style features with, with slashes. And then you can use Styler to just have, um, to select them all, one click, uh, you create uh, uh, all the styles for the design system in a very fast way. So it's, lit it's literally like one click from there. So hope this video was helpful. And uh, um, yeah, I want to remind you that on my channel, I have over 500 videos on UI UX design. So if you're interested in more in this type of uh, um, learnings and materials, uh, feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.